attachment attachments are great obstructions you want to know what attachment is as far as the spiritual field is concerned in the attachment is the food for the mind to continue non attachment means weakness whatsoever is happening you are allowing it to happen you are simply a witness to it simply a witness to all that is happening to you you are sitting in meditation thoughts are arising and if you remain attached to this paying attention to this that leads to attachment and if you simply remain a witness how that can be possible you are watching a television show you can get involved in the act that is being enacted on the scene or you can just watch it as an unconcerned person as a witness you are going on the street you are in your own thoughts you miss whatsoever is happening on the street or when you are walking in a way witnessing can be the outcome of a state of meditativeness you will recall the story of dattatru who accepted after enlightenment 24 masters he was going along the pilgrimage he saw a bird catcher he spread it nest and threw the food for the birds and he was waiting for the birds to come in the nest to get trapped same time a marriage procession passed that that they ask whose marriage procession was this the bird catcher said i have not noticed any he was involved in his bird catching so much that this can come in a way the act of witnessing he is but this is actually a part of concentration he was concentrating so much on bird catching that he became of the years of the other but in extreme state this also refers to witnessing you are witnessing everything but your attention is on the center then attachments do not affect witnessing is the way to stop it without any effort to stop and when you start enjoying those blissful moments your capacity to retain them for longer period arises out of attachments misery is born as the shadow of attachment together these cause a stagnancy along the spiritual path attached person becomes like a stagnant pool when water becomes stagnant then sooner or later it will begin to stink such a person stops flowing all duality is the creation of the mind these are created by clinging and attached mind when there is no attachment there is no duality one day you will disappear on the funeral pyre or just into nothingness as a smoke therefore do not get attached to anything it is said that the world is like a big guest house you come and stay here for some time and then go away 
The best example of this is the hotels where tourists come and stay. The room that you occupy for the duration of your stay in that particular city has been occupied by many before you. And after you, it will also be occupied by many. This is the state of the world. You come here, you occupy a space for a limited period of time, and then you move ahead. Mystics have given many examples like these. When they try to remove the illusion of their disciples. This attachment takes you away from your real thing and then you become focused on the thing to which you are attached. Your awareness gets lost in such things, in money, in people, in power. And there are thousand and one such things, the whole thick forest around you to be lost in. Remember non-attachment is the secret of finding yourself and then awareness can turn inwards because you do not have any outside thing to catch hold of. It is free. And in this freedom you can know your true nature or the real face. All the efforts of the zikr, introspection, are the process to have connection with the center. Therefore remember this and remain alert that you do not get too much attached to that which is <coughs> accidental. Remember everything is accidental except your consciousness. We are meeting by accident. Along the path, you are traveling along the same road, I am traveling along the same road. We happen to meet for a certain period of time. You go on a holiday, you stay in a particular place, you meet many people, you are traveling, you meet many people in the plane. These are temporary resting points or accidental. Consciousness is your real thing, except your awareness a consciousness, all else is accidental, pain and pleasure, success and failure, fame and defamation, meeting the people, these are all accidental. Although it is planned in a way, but it is better for this understanding that this is accidental. Only your witnessing consciousness is essential. It never changes. Stick to it. Get more and more rooted in it. And do not spread your attachment to worldly things. You can enjoy things. It is said about Shah Bahauddin Naqshpandra that he never considered anything as his own. Even the clothes that he used to wear, he will always mention that it has been given to me by this one or that one. I am simply using it for now. Fear is another attachment. You miss much because of fear. You are too much attached to the body and we go on creating more and more fear because of this attachment to the body. The body is going to die one day because the body is the part of death. It is death oriented. However, 
you are beyond the body you are not the body you are bodiless consciousness this is what we say the who the light or whatsoever name you want to give it remember this and through the process of meditation you come to realize this that i am consciousness the thoughts that are coming to me they are not part of me remember the line of mirza ghalib aate hain maya mazami khayal mein raat se these come from an unknown realm they are not part of me they come from a spiritual cyber space all thoughts and then what are you ghalib says और गालिब शरीर खामा नवाय सरोस है वेन यू पुट द पेन ऑन टू द पेपर देर इज साउंड एज द पेन मूव्स ऑन द पेपर द बॉडी इज लाइक दैट एंड ऑल एंड द वॉइस दैट कम्स टू यू इज दैट ऑफ द एंजिल दैट इज स्पीक्स थ्रू यू एट दैट टाइम this is what had happened to all those meditators who have reached to the higher state of meditation and in that state whatever they have said has become scriptures it has been expressed differently as the experience of each differed it is said allah told Holy Prophet read, and he was illiterate. It was one manifestation. When Veda Vyas, in a state of trance, envisioned something, then he tried to give it the world. This is his experience. When you sit down in meditation, something happens to you, and you try to. create a three dimensional effect of it it is all because of that consciousness that light that you are you are not the body you are beyond the body and mind remember this realize this awaken yourself to this truth that you are beyond the body and beyond the body you see it is light but you are witness you see it. you are they are thinking the object that is to be seen the process that is through which you experience something and the one experience you are beyond all these witness when lust is transformed you enter into the city of love you enter unattached remember that is their definition of love if love has attachment in it it is lust if love has no attachment in it only then it is not lust when you are in lust you are not really thinking of the other you are thinking of your beloved or lover you are simply using the other for your own ends and of course attachment is bound to be there because you would like to possess and you would like to possess him or her forever because tomorrow also you may need and the need for the lover continues you need a lover and you want to possess so when you lose one you try to get another one never allow attachment or clinging to grow in you they are all against your independence your freedom and your individuality all of our miseries are nothing but another aspect of attachment 
our whole ignorance and darkness is a strange combination of a thousand and one attachments, forms of attachments. We are attached to things which will be taken away by the time of death or even perhaps before. You may not be very much attached to money, but you can go bankrupt tomorrow. You may be very much attached to your power and position, your presidency, your position or status. All these attachments are like so bubbles. Today they are here, tomorrow not even a trace is left. Life is like a so bubble. On the ocean of the life, one day you come into existence like one of the myriad waves. Waves rise and fall on the surface of the ocean, but the ocean is eternal. All changes takes place on that, but the, neither the wave nor the sum total of waves is ocean. Ocean is far more than that, it is beyond. If you are too much attached, if you try too much to change the outside, that shows you are still attached. If you simply remain a witness to it, you will realize that all these things slips out of your hand as if they never existed for you. This is the purpose of the zikr that is supposed to be done. The word is not important. What is more important is whether you are able to attack or attain to the state of non-attachment or not. If a man tries to be detached, it shows attachment. Why bother about detachment if you are not attached? If a man escapes from woman, it shows that sex is still the obsession. Otherwise, why escape from woman if you are not obsessed? A person who lives moment to moment can never remain attached to anything. A moment comes, you are into it, moment is gone, everything finished. Attachment comes when you try to accumulate the past. How does it matter what I ate yesterday? After some time, a week or two weeks after when you meet someone, they ask you, how did you like the food that you ate that time? And when I say that I am sorry I did not eat, probably you are talking to someone else. Probably my cousin ate that. He said, you have a cousin like you, exactly like you? I said, yes, that he lives with me. So sometimes he eats and puts the blame on to me. Then it is said that you have a double standard. You do not understand the implications of the spirituality, the implication of moment to moment living. When I have eaten the food in the morning that has already been digested, consumed and reached to the final stage of its excretion, how is it concerned with me? Whatever was to be, was beneficial has been extracted and the rest has been discarded. A person who lives moment to moment can never be attached to anything. To that dish or this. And even talking about this is not essential. Only if you happen to want to go to the restaurant or take the friend or a guest to a restaurant, then you can decide which restaurant you want to carry. That is a different kind of a matter. It is not attachment. It is an understanding which restaurant food tastes better and you go to that. Attachment comes from the accumulated past. 
If you can be unattached to the past every moment, then you are always fresh, young and just born. You pulsate with life and that pulsation gives you immortality. You are immortal, only be aware of the fact. You are immortal, only unaware of the fact. The whole secret of non-attachment lies in living in the world, but be not of the world. Love people, but never create attachment. Reflect people and also reflect the beauties of the world as they are innumerable, but never cling. Be like a mirror. In clinging mind loses its mirror quality. Whatsoever comes in front of the mirror, mirror reflects it only as long as that remains in front. The moment that image disappears, it reflects something else. The same happens to your TV screen. The scenes keep on changing. But the, vis but the one who watches the television gets attached to a particular scene. Never cling. In clinging, mind loses its mirror quality and mirrorhood is the state of awakening. When you go on mirroring everything moment to moment, this is a state of awakening, this is a state of witnessing. To keep that quality of mirroring constantly, continuously fresh is to remain young, pure and innocent. No, but do not create knowledge. Love, but do not create desire. Live beautifully and totally, but abandon yourself in the moment. But never look back. This is the art of non-attachment. Art of non-attachment. Never be attached to the things of the world and also to the things of the other world. Because Things are things. People get attached to the zikr. The time has come to offer the salad, the prayer. Oh, it is time for me to do the prayer. The masters have exhibited myriad examples like that. And we do not pay attention to those small anecdotes as part of the teaching of the masters. I am trying to capture those small moments which were considered as insignificant in the life of the Masters as part of their teachings, which remains as part of their day-to-day -day understanding and behavior. It makes no difference whether they are in the world or the other world. Indeed, attachment is the problem. My approach is neither of the attachment nor of detachment. It is simply of an understanding. To be unattached does not mean that you have renounced the world. If you renounce the world, you are still attached to the world. Otherwise, why should you make an announcement of it. What is the point in renouncing it if you are not attached to it? People say, I am going to renounce the world. If you are not attached to it, there is no need. Only attachment renounces. If you are really non-attached, there is no question of any renunciation. Just seeing the fact that this is an attachment or just seeing the ugliness of it, it drops. Then love arises. The same energy that was becoming attachment becomes love, becomes compassion. When released from attachment, love is a totally different energy, non-possessive, 
and in between. So always remember that let your consciousness become a mirror like and that state of mirroring everything as it comes in front of the mirror is a state of awakening.